Yo, this is Bryce. You're watching a 416 interview. When did you start creating music? So I started making music like four to five years ago. All right. Okay. Um, what made you start creating? Honestly, I've always liked art. Um, so I, I actually used to write. Before I made music, I was like super into writing and short stories and shit like that. And then after a while, I just, I don't know, music seemed to like, I guess more of a fit uh, to be able to express myself. You know what I mean? So you kind of use music for an escape? A hundred percent, yeah. I use music as a form of expression, as an escape, as in, yeah, uh, for the most part, just to be able to express who I am. Being from where you are from, did it have any kind of like influence on you? Uh, not particularly. I grew up in like a farm town, which is, was pretty awful, if I'm going to be honest. Uh, the music scene there was non-existent because it was a farm town. That's a big part of why I moved to London, actually. Uh, but yeah, where I grew up, the, uh, I guess what you would call the music scene there was entirely folk and alternative based, which just wasn't really what I was doing. I did start off making music kind of within an alternative lane, but I did, I'd say about two years ago, start heading in a lot more rap-based direction. Okay. Um, do you want to walk me through a creative process on how you make this song? hundred percent, yeah. So it totally varies per song. I find I take forever to make music. I'm annoyingly slow. For example, my first release like onto platforms was called Drift. And it was made over the course of like a year on and off. So I wrote the original idea actually way back last December. And then I kind of just like started and stopped on it over and over again. And sometime in July, I ended up uh, like finishing it. But yeah, so my creative process, I guess, is for the most part, when I'm producing something myself, I definitely start with the verses. Like I start by writing out like yeah my vocals so uh i kind of like form an idea of what i want the song to be and lay out my verses and then i actually create the instrumental around my vocals now that you are living in london now and that you've moved there how has that changed your outlook on like uh music uh it's honestly helped a lot um i've met a ton of really cool artists here uh s way better scene than somewhere like elmer which is just like a tiny small town uh and honestly, I feel like moving to London just in general has really helped me, I don't know, get my priorities straight of what I want to do in life and figuring out that that is music, you know? Okay. Um, going back to your creative process, do you just freestyle or do you like to write stuff down? I write stuff down 100%. I am awful at freestyling. God awful at it. You cannot ask me to freestyle. Um, anytime I do, like if someone asks me to... I will literally just like do shit that I wrote previously and just like have in my head. I cannot freestyle. It's just like not an ability I possess. Is music more of a passion for you or a career? About a hundred percent. It used to be a passion, but as of the moment, it is definitely like a career as in it's not my full-time career as of the moment. While I do make money from it, I do work as well, but it's definitely, it's what I want to do with my life. And it's the only thing I can ever see myself doing. So I'd consider it a career. When did that change happen from music being a passion to now becoming more of a career? I think about two months ago. A bit after I started releasing stuff publicly. Um, and I had like, I was honestly blown away by the reception I got uh, at the time. And I just, I guess I didn't realize that, that many people would really be able to connect with my work. And I kind of had this moment where I was like, wow, this is genuinely a possibility for me. I could make this my life, you know? And that's always been a dream of mine, but it's never seemed like a reality. But it, it finally does now. All right, that's great, man. But how would you describe the music you create? I make stoner rap. I don't really know how else to put it. I get asked that question a lot, and I never know how to describe it outside of like stoner rap. I guess kind of like lo-fi rap very like mac miller vince staples lupe fiasco that sort of direction all right do you take uh inspiration from those artists 100 percent. mac miller being uh like top on that list 
he's the uh, artist who like inspired me to start making music. I actually have it's like right here. I have a Mac Miller hat, but yeah, a hundred percent. Mac Miller was the artist who inspired me to start making music. So did you grow up listening to these um, artists? Oh uh, yeah. Uh, well, not grow up. I'd say I got into Mac about four years ago. Uh, I actually grew up listening to a lot of classical and jazz, uh, which I think also has a huge influence within my music. Uh, I, I do make a lot of lo-fi, I guess, so you can see where that comes in. But I grew up listening to a lot of like classical, went through like a bit of an alternative phase, uh, and then like a few years back, definitely got more with, into rap and I guess chill rap for the most part. Like while I do listen to a lot more experimental artists as well, I'd say the ones that have influenced my own music. Uh, the most have been like Mac Miller, Vince Staples, Joji, Frank Ocean. I'm kind of blanking. ASAP Rocky. I love ASAP Rocky. Huge influence as well. Yeah. Okay. Um, in five years, where do you see yourself? That's a tricky question because I don't have a clue. Um, stylistically, I definitely see myself doing something a lot different than I am right now. Just because while I do like the style I'm pursuing at the moment... Uh, I just don't think it's something I'm going to be doing for the rest of my career as an artist, you know? I feel like I'm definitely going to grow and branch off. Uh, hopefully, I see music as being my full-time career by then. Honestly, I hopefully see that in even a year, being able to just, like, do music as my full-time thing. But yeah, five years is it's a tricky question. Going back to you branching off, so right now you kind of um, say that your music style is kind of like stoner rap. Where do you kind of see it heading toward? Honestly, I'd love to go in a more hyperpop direction. Like, oh, okay. I love artists like Break In, Sclave, shit like that. That, like, Quadeca, like, that, like, super detailed, um, trippy production. It's crazy. I love it. And I'd kill to be able to do something like that. I'm just not really there vocally or production-wise yet. So you focus more on the bars rather than being, like, melodic? with A hundred percent, yeah. Insane. Yeah. That's interesting. Um, so seeing, have you, seeing as you've been in this industry for like five to six years, you've been making music for, do you have any advice for new artists? Yeah, honestly, um, insecurity is stupid. It's fucking stupid. Uh, the one thing that really stopped me from putting out music publicly is when I... When I was like 13, 14, I kind of dropped like a bit of stuff on SoundCloud, you know, and it was awful. Don't get me wrong. My early music was terrible because everyone's early music is terrible, right? You all start somewhere and I'm sure in three years I'm going to look back and think the stuff I'm doing right now is terrible. But I think it's important to be able to be like self-critical, but at the same time, everywhere, everyone starts somewhere. And if you're happy with the stuff you're making at the time, you should be putting it out and showing other people. It doesn't give, it doesn't matter at all what people think of your music. People are always going to hate your music. It doesn't matter how good it is. Like, oh yeah, sorry, back to the early point. The reason I stopped dropping music for so long is just when I originally started dropping music, I got such a negative reception to it that I was basically just like, oh, people don't like my sound. I just shouldn't release stuff publicly. And that's bullshit. Like... People are always going to hate, some people are always going to hate what you're doing, but it never matters. You should always just continually be releasing and growing on that sound, because the only person who should matter within your own music is you. You should be making music for yourself, and if you enjoy listening to the music you're putting out, then you should be releasing it. Any new projects people should look out for? I don't have a release date, because I procrastinate a lot, and... I've been like on and off working on this project for a while, but I hopefully have a project called Transit coming out. I'd say January or February would be a fair prediction. Uh, it, it's going to be totally new stuff. Like I'm not sticking anything on there that I previously released. And I'd say the bulk of what the project's about or means to me is kind of just like, I, I guess my experience over the past year or so of living on my own and just growing as a person and uh, finding yourself, you know? At the time of day, all I do is meditate, all I do is medicate, thinking that I found the way, gets me through the door, gets me through the day. Homie said he's nervous, I cannot relate.